This video is going to give a very short introduction to nuclear medicine. We'll give an overview, explain why we use radiation, and give examples of nuclear medicine procedures. Let's begin. So, what is nuclear medicine? Nuclear medicine is the use of radioactivity in medicine to help diagnose and treat patients in a unique way. Nuclear medicine differs from other uses of radiation in medicine, such as x-rays, which come from a machine outside the body. Instead, radiation is injected, swallowed or inhaled to get inside the body. We can break nuclear medicine down into three different types of procedures, imaging tests, non-imaging tests and therapy. Let's talk now about radiation. Why would we use radiation? Isn't it dangerous? Everyone is exposed to small amounts of radiation all the time, from natural sources such as rocks and soil, to foods such as bananas and nuts. Whilst the radiation used in nuclear medicine is stronger than what we are naturally exposed to, its usage is closely monitored and controlled to ensure that the benefits outweigh the risks. The radiation used in nuclear medicine is removed naturally from the body in a short amount of time, often less than a day. We can combine radioactive substances with other materials, causing them to go where we want in the body. We call this mix a radiopharmaceutical or a tracer. Using a tracer, we are able to get useful information and treat diseases in ways that would otherwise be unavailable to us. Let's break down the three main categories in nuclear medicine, imaging, non-imaging tests, and treatment. Imaging is a large part of nuclear medicine. Scans such as x-rays and CT are able to provide great information about the structure of the body, but nuclear medicine provides information on the function of the body. The tracer that is administered inside the body is able to be seen using a special camera which allows us to see where the tracer is in the body. Let's look at an example of an imaging test. A myocardial perfusion scan is a scan that visualises the blood flow to the heart. The tracer goes to the heart and is absorbed by the healthy heart tissue, but not by unhealthy heart tissue. This allows us to see what areas of the heart are receiving blood and what areas are blocked, providing useful information that can be used by doctors. In non-imaging tests, a tracer is given to a patient, however, instead of using a camera, we take samples from the patient, such as urine, blood or breath samples, depending on what we are interested in monitoring. We can measure how much radiation is in the sample to give us information about the patient. Let's look at an example. Blood volume test measures the total amount of blood present in a patient. The patient is injected with a known amount of radiation and we wait a small amount of time for this radiation to mix evenly with the patient's blood. We then take a blood sample and measure the amount of radiation in it. The amount of radiation in the sample is compared with the amount of radiation injected and we can calculate the amount of blood in the patient. Nuclear medicine can also be used for treatment purposes, also known as therapy. We use radiation that doesn't pass through the body as easily as an imaging, so it deposits its energy in a small area. This can be used to kill cancer tissue, reduce tumour size, or reduce pain. Let's look at an example. Iodine therapy is used to treat thyroid cancer. The only part of the body that absorbs iodine is the thyroid, so we can use a radioactive form of iodine, I131, to treat thyroid cancer. The I131 is absorbed by the thyroid and any thyroid cancer that spreads to other parts of the body. The radiation then kills cancer with minimum damage to the rest of the body. To quickly summarize nuclear medicine, radiation is placed inside the body and travels to a specific location. This allows us to perform imaging tests non-imaging tests and targeted therapy. Thanks for watching.